In this activity, we are asked to use the distributive property to write each expression as a sum or difference of products and then rewrite the products. The distributive property is shown above where A times the quantity B plus C is equal to A times B plus A times C. And we say we distribute A. And A times the quantity B minus C is equal to A times B minus A times C. For our first example, we have three times the quantity x plus seven. To determine the product, we distribute three, which gives us three times x plus three times seven. Three times x is three x, three times seven is 21. The expression simplifies to three x plus 21. Next, we have two times the quantity x minus three. To multiply, we distribute two, which gives us two times x minus two times three. Two times x is two x, two times three is six. The expression simplifies to two x minus six. Next, we have negative five times the quantity x plus eight. To multiply, we distribute negative five, which gives us negative five times x plus negative five times eight. For this example, I'll show a little more work. Negative five times x is negative five x, and then we have plus negative five times eight is negative 40. But remember, adding a negative is equivalent to subtracting a positive, and therefore, we normally rewrite the expression as negative five x minus 40. And for the last example, we have negative seven times the quantity x minus nine. To multiply, we distribute negative seven, which gives us negative seven times x, and then we have minus negative seven times nine. And again, I'll show some additional work on this example. Negative seven times x is negative seven x, and then we have minus negative seven times positive nine is negative 63, giving us minus negative 63. But remember, subtracting a negative is equivalent to adding a positive, and therefore the expression simplifies to negative seven x plus 63. I hope you found this helpful.